Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. The beta salpeter equation, BSE, named after Hans Beta and Edwin Salpeter, is an integral equation, the solution of which describes the structure of a relativistic two-body, particles, bound state in a covariant formalism quantum field theory, QFT. The equation was first published in 1950 at the end of a paper by Yoichiro Nambu, but without derivation. Due to its common application in several branches of theoretical physics, the beta Salpeter equation appears in many forms. One form often used in high energy physics is gamma p p equals integral d4k 2 pi 4k p p k s k minus p2 gamma p k s k plus p2 where gamma is the beta Salpeter amplitude BSA. K the Green's function representing the interaction and S the dress propagators of the two constituent particles. In quantum theory, bound states are composite physical systems with lifetime significantly longer than the time scale of the interaction breaking their structure. Otherwise, the physical systems under consideration are called resonances, thus allowing ample time for constituents to interact. By accounting all possible interactions that can occur between the two constituents, the BSE is a tool to calculate properties of deep bound states. The BSA as its solution encodes the structure of the bound state under consideration, as it can be derived via identifying bound states with poles in the S matrix of the four-point function involving the constituent particles. The equation is related to the quantum field description of scattering processes applying Green's functions. As a general purpose tool, the applications of the BSE can be found in most quantum field theories. Examples include positronium, bound state of an electron, positron pair, excitons, bound states of an electron, whole pairs, and mesons as quark any quark bound states. Even for simple systems such as the positronium, the equation cannot be solved exactly under quantum electrodynamics, QED, despite its exact formulation. A reduction of the equation can be achieved without the exact solution. In the case where particle pair production can be ignored, if one of the two fermion constituent is significantly more massive than the other, the system is simplified into the Dirac equation for the light particle under the external potential of the heavy one. Derivation The starting point for the derivation of the beta Salpeter equation is the two particle or four point. Dyson equation G equals S1S2 plus S1S2K 12G in momentum space, where G is the two particle green function omega phi 1 phi. 2 phi 3 phi 4 omega. S are the free propagators and K is an interaction kernel which contains all possible interactions between the two particles. The crucial step is now to assume that bound states appear as poles in the green function. One assumes that two particles come together and form a bound state with mass m. This bound state propagates freely and then the bound state splits in its two constituents again. Therefore, one introduces the beta Salpeter wave function psi equals omega phi 1 phi 2 psi, which is a transition amplitude of two constituents phi i into a bound state psi, and then makes an ansatz for the green function in the vicinity of the pole as g is almost equal to psi psi p2 minus m2, where p is the total momentum of the system. One sees that if for this momentum the equation P2 equals M2 holds, which is exactly the Einstein energy momentum relation, with the four momentum P mu equals E slash C P, and P2 equals P mu P mu, the four point green function contains a pole. If one plugs that ansatz into the Dyson equation above and sets the total momentum P such that the energy momentum relation holds, on both sides of the term a pole appears. Psi psi P2 minus M2 equals S1 S2 plus S1 S2 K 12 psi psi P2 minus M2 comparing the residues yield psi equals S1 S2 K 12 psi. This is already the beta Salpeter equation written in terms of the beta Salpeter wave functions. To obtain the above form, one introduces the beta Salpeter amplitudes gamma psi equals S1 S2 gamma and gets finally gamma equals K12 S1 S2 gamma, which is written down above, with the explicit momentum dependence. Rainbow ladder approximation in principle, the interaction kernel K contains all possible two particle irreducible interactions that can occur between the two constituents. In order to carry out practical calculations, one has to model it 
by choosing a subset of the interactions. As in quantum field theories, interaction is described via the exchange of particles, e.g. photons in QED, or gluons in quantum chromodynamics, other than contact. Interactions, the most simple interaction, is modeled by the exchange of only one of these force-carrying particles with a known propagator. As the beta, Salpeter equation sums up the interaction infinitely many times from a perturbative viewpoint. The resulting Feynman graph resembles the form of a ladder or rainbow, hence the name of this approximation. While in QED, the ladder approximation caused problems with crossing symmetry and gauge invariance, indicating the inclusion of cross-ladder terms. In quantum chromodynamics, QCD, this approximation is frequently used phenomenologically to calculate hadron mass, and its structure in terms of beta, salpeter amplitudes, and fadif amplitudes, a well-known ansatz of which is proposed by Maris and Tandy. Such an ansatz for the dress quark gluon vertex within the rainbow ladder truncation respects chiral symmetry and its dynamical breaking, which therefore is an important modeling of the strong nuclear interaction. As an example, the structure of pions can be solved applying the Maris, Tandy ansatz from the beta, Salpeter equation in Euclidean space. Normalization as for solutions of any homogeneous equation. That of the beta Salpeter equation is determined up to a numerical factor. This factor has to be specified by a certain normalization condition. For the beta Salpeter amplitudes, this is usually done by demanding probability conservation, similar to the normalization of the quantum mechanical wave function which corresponds to the equation 2 p mu equals gamma, del del p mu, s1 circle times s2, minus s1 s2, del del p mu k. s1 s2, gamma normalizations to the charge and energy momentum tensor of the bound state lead to the same equation. In the rainbow ladder approximation, this interaction kernel does not depend on the total momentum of the beta, salpeter amplitude, in which case the second term of the normalization condition vanishes. An alternative normalization, based on the eigenvalue of the corresponding linear operator, was derived by Nakanishi. Solution in the Minkowski space, the beta Salpeter equation applies to all kinematic region of the beta Salpeter amplitude. Consequently, it determines the amplitudes where the functions are not continuous. Such singularities are usually located when the constituent momentum is timelike, which are not directly accessible from Euclidean space solutions of this equation. Instead, one developed methods to solve these type of integral equations directly in the timelike region. In the case of scalar bound states, through a scalar particle exchange in the rainbow ladder truncation, the beta Salpeter equation in the Minkowski space can be solved with the assistance of Nakanishi integral representation.